Guys, I'm still sick and I've a really bad headache since yesterday. I really couldn't be bothered with doing a voiceover. Let me know if you want a part 2, because I wasn't able to put all ships into this video that were requested. The video took really long to make and I'm happy that I managed to finish it even though I'm sick. So I'd be happy if you gave this a thumbs up. Alright let's start. Okay ask your boyfriend have you ever regretted dating me? Who are you? Just do it. For the wholesomeness. Kuro Ken. Good morning. Morning. When did you get up? Couldn't sleep so I got up around. Midnight. You've to take better care of yourself kitten. You'll get sick if you don't sleep more. I'm trying. My brain just can't shut up sometimes. Well good thing you do most of your work from home. Will you try to sleep later? I think so. I'll stay awake a little longer to wash some of our clothes and sleep once they're done. Thanks for that. Kiru yawned. Gosh I'm so tired. Want me to make you a coffee? No it's fine I'll just hop in the shower and buy some breakfast on the way to work. Alright. Kiru vanished behind the bathroom door. A while later. Kemmer opened the bathroom door. You sure you don't want me to make you a coffee? Yeah it's fine. Thanks. Kenma watched Kiru lathering some shampoo in his hands. Hey Kiru. Say. MH. Have you ever regretted dating me? No. I haven't. Kenma blinked. Surprised by how fast Kiru answered his question. Oh wow that was fast. Well it's not like I really had to think about my answer. Why not? Cause I don't regret dating you. And I never have regretted it before either. You haven't? Kiru cut Kenma off mid-sentence. Hey yesterday I watched a video titled, If you'd be able to go back 10 years from now while keeping your memory, what would you do? And it got me wondering if I'd still go back to that park where we first met. I remember your mom told you to go out more often to socialize instead of staying in your room all day. But you were just playing in your Nintendo DS in the park instead of talking to the other kids. Wait what? You didn't answer my question. And then I thought to myself yeah of course I'd still go back to find you at the park. It's not even a question. I mean, how could I not come back to find you after sharing all these memories with you? Well I'm sure you could find someone better than me. So why do you still choose to look for me? Because I love you. You'd do the same, wouldn't you? Silence. Wait you definitely would go back and talk to me, wouldn't you? Kiru froze mid shampooing. Are you an idiot? Of course I would. I was just thinking that I should probably bring a volleyball if that ever happened. So it would be easier to start a conversation and all. How a man don't scare me like that. Kenma. Oh hey. Yaku said he's going to visit Japan next week. We should totally meet him. Yeah we should it's been a while. Kiru yawned. Hey Kiru. Yep. You sure you don't want me to make you a coffee? Yomi. What's up? I've got a question. Go ahead. Atsumu flopped back onto his bed. He quietly stared at the ceiling for a few seconds, somewhat afraid of Sakusa's reaction. Are you going to ask or not? Yeah well, to be honest I was wondering if you have ever regretted dating me. What? Have you ever regretted dating me? What? Is the connection bad? I said have you ever regretted dating me? You know what? This is really odd, but I keep hearing you say have you ever regretted dating me? Well yeah cause that's what I said. Am I supposed to like laugh or so? I'm not really good with those jokes. Oh me I'm serious. Are you sliding into some sort of depressive episode that I didn't know you were even struggling with in the first place? Or are you trying to break up with me right now? Neither. I've been asking out of sheer curiosity. You sure? Yep. Yeah. MHH well yeah I guess there were times where I regretted things. Wait what? Oh me. You. Jeez at least let me finish talking before you freak out. Alright I'm going to attempt keeping my composure for now. Good, you know. I talked about this a few times so I won't repeat it over and over again, but I was sort of regretting things when we first started going out. I struggled with simple things such as holding hands, and I felt bad for reflecting my issues on you. Sometimes I thought that you'd be better off dating someone else. Well maybe regretting is the wrong word for that. Maybe it was more like anxiety than regret? No. UHH. Worry? Concern? Uh, anyway you get what I mean. Wait that's the first time I hear about that. I mean I knew about your germaphobic tendencies. But I didn't know you actually felt this way. Guess I hadn't fully opened up to you yet back then. I know that there's going to be a lot of challenges in the future. But I know that we're going to get through them together. So yeah I did doubt a lot of things back then, but I'm glad to have you. 
Oh Sasuna, hey why are you crying so damn loud? Well sorry, I'll try to cry quieter next time. Much appreciated but now that I'm already aware of your crying who do I need to beat up? Are you stupid concerned? What's going on nothing, but you're crying. Yep, yeah, maybe I'm a tad emotional, because Sakusa has grown so much ever since we started going out. I don't really get it, so I was wondering if he ever regretted dating me and he said no. What, that's why you're crying? Well there's more to that, but basically yeah. Uh, Alright then, Osamu shrugged and left his twin alone. What's he been crying for? Well this and that, are uh, okay? Hey have you ever regretted dating me? Nope. Okay, me neither. Why? Tsumu blabbered something about asking Sakusa this earlier so it got me wondering. You make the best in Ijiri worldwide and I get to eat them for free. So in other words you're only dating me to get free food? Now it's a plus point though. Okay jokes aside, but you do know that I love you, right? Huh, I think the two of us are a great team and we complete each other. Osamu almost began to tear up. Suna I love you so much. Atsumu entered the room. Faking a cough you disgusting you little bitch. Ashio I am hey I were cham what's up? Not much. I just figured I'd call my best friend and ask how things are going now that you've moved overseas and all. Oiko I yawned on the other end of the line I'm sorry. Did I get the time wrong? I thought it was 1.30pm over there? No no you didn't get it wrong. I'm still sorta jet lagged I guess. You're not overworking yourself again, are you? Don't worry I were chan. It really is just the jet lag. Alright then. Have you met your new teammates yet? Yes. They're awesome the language barrier is a little challenging though. You'll pick up on the language soon. Yeah Wakatoshi and I have signed up for a language class already. I weigh Zumi side. What's wrong? Nothing it's just, out of all the people in the world, you really ended up with a Shiwika? It's still hard for me to believe. Yeah I never thought I'd fall for him either. I mean it's Wakatoshi. Three years ago I would have probably stabbed him at any given chance. I weigh Zumi snorted before going quiet again. Hey you don't regret things, do you? What do you mean? Dating a Shiwika, moving countries you know, I just, you know, you are happy, right? Hahaha <laughs> oh god, sometimes I forget that this side of you even exists, I were chan. Hey what's that supposed to mean? I'm really happy with him. Okay that's good, but I do regret things. I mean I don't regret moving, I don't regret dating him, but I do sorta miss everyone. Well maybe regret isn't the right words for this, but thinking about leaving you guys behind does make me somewhat sad. I really miss you all. We miss you too. Actually actually, never mind. No 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 that's unfair. Don't just start saying something and then go no never mind. I weigh Zumi side. Well you already know that Maki finally found a job, right? Yep, so we have decided that once we all saved up enough money, we're going to come visit you. Maybe it's your birthday? What no way. Are you serious? I am. We all miss your annoying ass. Of course you do. Iwezumi is ready to punch him in the face. But thanks to Oikol being overseas this is impossible. Toru. I'm home. Welcome home. Oh that new haircut looks great. You think so? Yep. I got us some takeout from that restaurant across the street. Oh thanks. It sucks that the new stove still hasn't arrived maybe we should have moved into the dorms after all. They also provide food for the team hey no way. I want to sleep in the same room with you. How I know I know. Stop pouting. I had a phone call with Iwa Chan earlier. Can I ask you something? Yeah of course. Have you ever regretted dating me? A Ashiwika raised his eyebrows. You really worry about that? I've been literally chasing after you for years. Stop you're making me blush. You like that though. Shut up. Do you regret moving abroad? Why do you keep thinking that I regret things? I don't. If I was against moving, I'd have told you so. Don't worry so much. Alright alright alright. Let's eat then. I'm starving I actually looked forward to moving with you. MH. What do you mean? It's because there's something I want to do here. Something that's impossible for us to do in Japan? That's the first time I'm hearing of that. I'm not quite sure what you're talking about though. I never talked about it before because it was pretty much pointless. Huh, I'm getting real confused here right now. I want to marry you. What I said I want to marry yeah I heard that. I'm not deaf but what? Are you against the idea? No, that's not what I mean. 
I'm just surprised. Are you really serious? A Shijima pulled a small box out of his pocket. Yeah of course I'm serious Japan still forbid same sex marriage. So I never thought I'd ever buy a ring or anything and I'm not sure if you like it. But will you marry me? Of course I will. Oiko screeched. Hugged a Shijima and pulled back a good two seconds later. Oh god I need to tell Iwa-chan hey what about lunch? Later. Kyohaba. Have you ever regretted dating me? That again? Yep. Yeah. How about you know? You finally give me an answer. Kyotani slammed his hand against the wall next to Yahiba's head. Stop that. Why? Don't you like it? You're blushing and all. For fuck's sake yeah I do like it from time to time, but stop trying to mess with me when I ask you something. Yahiba hadn't been blushing for whatever reason Kyotani thought he was blushing for, but because he was overflowing with inner rage. Lots of inner rage. Before Kyotani even had the chance to blink. He was already getting slammed against the very same wall Yahaba had been pinned against less than a second ago. I've been asking this for days and you keep ignoring it. Is it so difficult to answer such simple question? Everyone's been doing this challenge and all their boyfriends responded in stupidly romantic ways. But you've been avoiding this topic and it makes me feel like you actually fucking regret dating me. And if that's the case then just break up with me or whatever. Kyotani cupped his boyfriend face with his hands and placed a quick kiss on his lips. I'm sorry. I knew that this was probably one of those stupid boyfriend challenges that you and your friends like to do. So I thought I'd prank you back by ignoring this. I just wanted to see how you'd react. But I didn't mean to hurt you. I don't want to break up with you and I never regretted dating you. Okay. Yahaba sniffed and wiped a tear from the corner of his eye. I'm sorry too. I snapped for nothing. It just that I recently heard my mom's cousin talk about us and she said something like, Oh no, you'll regret dating him sooner or later. You can't even have kids. Men aren't supposed to date men. What a shame. That's some utter garbage she's been talking about. Yeah I know but it got me somewhat, emotionally unstable, I guess. Just fuck one she said okay, I love you, I don't regret you. And even if we ended up breaking up in the future for whatever reason, I still will not regret you. Okay, Yahaba buried his face in his boyfriend's chest. Okay, Matsuhana. Matson have you ever regretted dating me? What? Why are you asking that? Apparently everyone in the group chat has been asking that their boyfriend so. I thought I'd ask you as well. Huh, why? IDK man maybe they're bored, I could come up with at least a handful of things that I'd consider more fun than asking my so dumb questions out of boredom. Ahaha yeah right Saru have you ever regretted dating me? Wait are you actually serious about that? Ah uh, well not really. Maki. Yes. Uh, may I help you today sir? Are you doubting me? Us? Are you doubting everything we have? No. No don't get it wrong okay? It's just... I was just wondering if there was ever a point in our relationship where you regretted things. Of course not. Why'd that thought even cross your mind? Well I mean, because. Wait are you trying to tell me that you're regretting things? No way. Then why are you acting so weird all of sudden? Well it's just that, you know I don't even have a job right now. Your family must be thinking that I just use you for the money. Or that I'm lazy or whatever hypothetically speaking this could cause you to regret things. Cause, you know money is tight. And if you were dating someone with a stable job, things would be a lot easier. They never said anything like that and it's not like you aren't trying to find a job. Well yeah I'm trying but her I am. Clearly still unemployed. Maki this isn't in your control you're trying. Of course things would be easier if you had a stable job. But why'd that make me regret dating you? You're my best friend and the love of my life. We're going to get profit together. You know the good and the bad times, till death do us apart and all that bullshit. Maki tid up and rushed to hug his boyfriend. Yeah I know. Sorry I'm so emotional these days. I think I'm about to get my period. Maki, you're a guy. Yeah but it's a mental thing. No, it's not. I need ice cream, hugs and a cat. Understandable. Shirabu and Semi were sitting on Semi's bed, cuddled up under one of his blankets. A movie was playing in the TV, but Shirabu barely paid attention to it. Have you ever regretted dating me? Excuse me? It's nothing. Semi turned the TV down. I haven't. Why are you asking? It's just a challenge. The others came up with it. It's kinda stupid. If you really thought so you wouldn't have asked. I mean I just asked because it's a challenge. I sorta had to. Oh yeah that totally convinced me. 
Stop being sarcastic, then explain what's going on in your mind right now. What? I said it was just a challenge, nothing more. I can sense you overthinking. I love you. I mean that's why I asked you out in the first place. Like yeah, I wasn't really a fan of you when we were younger, but things changed. I don't regret dating you. Actually screw that. What? I regret not dating you earlier. You're an idiot. Seriously it took us way too long to actually start dating. Shirabu groaned and grabbed onto the remote. The way you dressed was weird back then though. So were your bangs. But past is past and I love you now and forever. Ushiton. Have you ever regretted dating me? Wakatoshi kun? No. No. No do you want me to? What? Of course not. So why are you asking? I was just curious. You know. If I had ever regretted dating you at any point. I would have broken up with you back then. AWW yeah right. Do you want me to pick up the new Sean and jump for you later? Uh, wait you mean you're coming over? Yes, you don't have to. I didn't mean to worry you with that question or anything. I'm didn't really worry. I was already on my way before you even asked a. Did we plan on having a date or so? No, I just missed you. Oh.